For the month of June, we're giving away one of these two tins that you see here and the opportunity to pack battle us. All you have to do to be entered to win this giveaway is make sure that you're subscribed to us, make sure you like this video, and make sure you leave just one comment. And just a reminder that every single video that we post in June will be a chance to win, so I highly suggest you click that notification bell if you haven't already so you know every time we upload a video. Good luck, and may the odds be ever in your favor. Hi guys, Pokey Sisters here. This is Katie, and today I have this EX figure cube to open up. Um, I'm sure you've seen some other PokeTubers opening these lately, but finally found them at our Target. Unfortunately, we didn't get the coolest promo. I've seen some people that have gotten full arts out of these, but we got an Ash Greninja EX. This was on um, the best one there that I saw, and we have an Evolutions pack and a Roaring Skies pack in there, so um, pretty good sets in my opinion. Uh, this is 13 bucks, so my question for you guys today is do you think it's worth it? Um, you can wait till you see everything that's in it, but um, basically you get one figure, two booster packs, a foil card, an EX card, and two coins. So uh, let's just get into this. Um, I have a knife here because I usually struggle at opening this kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, we're just going to have to cut this. Oh, maybe. I can even see where this starts. Hey, there we go. Uh, that's a start. And this is like a sticker type thing that is probably going to be a pain in the butt. I probably should have watched some other people open these so I didn't have to struggle. But it looks like we're going to have to cut along here. So let's do that. Hopefully get this started. Um, and get it off the edges so we can peel it open. There we go. That... That looks good, and then we'll have to cut it right here, and then I think we should be able to get into it. Um, yeah. Let's try that. <laughs> we'll see if it works. Maybe. Gosh, I am just making a mess. Alright, there we go. I think that should be enough, maybe. Got a little piece here. There we go. Um... Hopefully I can get into this now. Yes, there we go. So, we have some styrofoam. Probably the best thing that we'll get in here. Just kidding. Um, here is our promo card. We have an Ash Greninja EX. And it appears to be in actually really good condition, which is awesome. Uh, definitely likes this promo box when it came out. Very cool. So we'll sleep that up. And this is all the way X and Y promo 133. So, very cool. Set that back there with a mud kip. Our figure is a go goat um i have no clue where this figure come from comes from but it's one i definitely didn't have so i will take it it's actually a pretty nice quality figure so very nice um here are our two coins we have two pikachu coins so nothing too special with the coins here is an evolutions booster pack here so there's that just gonna take this sticker off now so i don't have to do it later there we go and we have a Sneasel is our foil card. So it's just a reverse foil, nothing too special, just a common uh, from Steam Siege. And we have a Roaring Skies pack. So there are two booster packs. Set this off. These are always nice to get because they're really good to store cards in. So there's that. Um, I guess let's get into our packs. So for $13, if you think about it, these promos, this probably, I don't know, it's maybe worth $4, I would say. And then if you think about it, um, booster packs, if you buy them from Target or Walmart, are about four, a little over $4 a piece. So you're getting $8 in booster packs. Four here's four, eight, 12. That's already $12. Um, so I would say, for me, I think this product's worth it. Especially if you can find a good promo. Like I said, I've seen some people get full art promos, which is awesome. But we're going to start with Evolutions here. And like I said, usually, um, I think every single one that I saw had the same combo of booster packs at my Target. Uh, it was Evolutions and Roaring Skies, which, in my opinion, are two awesome sets, so you can't go wrong there. But, anyways, we have Staryu, Pikachu, Doduo, Charizard, Spirit Link, Poliwhirl, Maintenance. Our reverse is just a common Nidoran male. And we have a Starmie Regular Rare. Alright, come on, Roaring Skies. Can we find ourselves a Shaman? Shaman has actually been going a little bit down in value, probably because it's going to get rotated soon and everyone just wants to get rid of them. 
Um, but still, definitely a good card to get. So maybe we'll find a Shaman. I highly doubt it, but fingers crossed. Uh, we have a Dratini, Natu, Wingle, Fletchling, Bagon, Mega Turbo, Tropius, oops, a uh, Switch, a Reverse is a Rare Togekiss, and a Zatu Regular Rare. So our pulls weren't that good, but out of two packs, we did find a Reverse Rare. And Hollow Foils are one in every three packs, so I don't want to say these are weighed because I highly doubt they are. Usually the Fairfield Company is pretty, pretty good with their packs. So, um, overall, I would say this is worth it. It's a fun little product, and honestly, the reason I get these is for these little boxes. Because they're really, really good to store cards in. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you leave it a big thumbs up. Click that subscribe button, and may the polls be ever in your favor.